Well, right now, as families get ready to send their students back to school, no one's more excited than me. <laughs> We're talking about what you need to know about your child's immunization. We're joined by Christian Grisales from the Dallas County Health and Human Services. We want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for the invitation. This is so important. Yes. Why do kids need to be fully vaccinated before school starts? That's a really good question. We want kids to be protected, to stay safe. We want kids not to get sick. We want kids not to get any viruses. And that's what vaccines do. They protect them. They protect not only the kids, the school staff, parents at home so they don't have to miss uh, hours of work. So yeah, it's just very important. That's why we want parents to be proactive about this and get them vaccinated. I want to defend the moms. We always always feel like we have more time. What are some of the consequences though if we wait until the last minute? Consequences, um, kids not being able to be in school the first day, and we don't want that to happen. We want uh, kids to be present and uh, you know, just not to miss any hours of school. Also, we don't want parents to stand in long lines and or having to do many things before, the, uh, before those kids get uh, their, their uh, required immunizations. Now, Christian, are there any special events, immunization events that Dallas County Health and Human Services is hosting? And if so, where are they? Is there a cost for those things? Very good question. Yes, we have multiple events going on this month. Uh, specifically, we have one going on tomorrow, uh, Dallas Mayor uh, Back to School Fair. We're going to be there providing back to school immunizations. We also have two events uh, scheduled for this Saturday, so we want uh, parents to be proactive. Go to uh, any of, of those events, but also um, our clinics. We have our clinics uh, in Dallas County, so they can get uh, this done before the first day of school, which is very, very important. Now, what do they need to bring? Very good question too. <laughs> immunization records. We want parents to bring their immunization, the children's immunization records because that way we know which vaccines that child needs. A lot of times if they don't have them, then we, we can look them up in the system, but it's very important to, for parents to bring those records. And also if they're coming from out of state or potentially out of the country, are there some additional requirements there? Well, we want them to, we want parents to bring their records from, you know, wherever they come from, if they're coming from out of state, but if they don't have them, the um, disadvantage is that that child might have to get all vaccines in one single setting. So Ooh. we don't want that. I've seen those kids getting eight, shots and uh, it's not pretty for the kid. It's not, uh, it's, it's hard to watch, especially yeah. for the parents, but uh, for anybody. So, you know, just bring those records so we can be safe. If parents out there watching like, oh, I need to get these immunizations, do they need appointments to show up at your clinics or community events? So we encourage uh, appointments. We want parents to make an appointment. They can call a phone number or they can just walk in. We accept both. But uh, of course, we prefer uh, uh, to make an appointment. Now, one more time. Of course, the kids want to play sports. They want to interact with friends. Yes. How much does this help with public health, getting these kids immunized before they head back to school? It's very important because, like I said, we don't want anyone to get sick. We don't want parents to get sick at home. So it is very important for also other children in the school setting to be safe and also the school staff. So it's just a, it's a public, it's a, it's a collective effort for everyone to, to be protected against viruses and sicknesses. So let's get, let's get this done. All right, Christian, with the Dallas County Health and Human Services, we want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for the invitation. Hey, today is also the start of WFAA's annual school supplies drive. We want the kids equipped and immunized, right? All right, this runs through August 23rd. Scan that QR code on your screen. You can also shop from our Amazon wish list. It doesn't get any easier than that. The items will be delivered right here to WFAA, and we're working with organizations across DFW to distribute these supplies to students in need. You can find all the information you need at WFAA.com.